So it's about 11.25 in the morning right now. I just got here to leave soon and it feels so great to be back right by the train station which is over here behind me and it literally faces the lake. Can't see it but behind me somewhere is Pilatus. Yes, I was too lazy to walk all the way over here to the Lion Monument, so I decided to take the bus. I figure why not eat lunch in front of the Lion? Might be kind of nice. So it's only about like a minute walk from where the bus dropped me off, and it's actually conveniently right across from a coat. So I might go in there and buy a snack, just like maybe later on for dinner. It's about noon right now, actually, or something. Um, yeah, I'm taking a break and I'm eating just a little bit before I continue on my way. Guacamole. Probably try to hike later on, even though it'll be a little bit warmer during the day. It's so peaceful here. And conveniently, there's a museum, the Gletscher Garden. I've been there before. I don't remember the cost or anything, but it's pretty neat. They have like a, a room full of mirrors. That was pretty cool. And then all the way over here to the right is bathrooms, which I would recommend using. If you have to go to the bathroom as soon as you get here in Lutzern, there's bathrooms all over the place, but if you go to the ones at the train station, you're gonna have to pay two Swiss francs or something like that. So if you want to go to the bathroom for free, Wait until you come to the Lion Monument or maybe somewhere else in the city. There's like little bathrooms here and there. I have to say, this is the most interesting toilet in the world. Oh, that was easy. And I guess the doors shut by themselves. Oh, this is so fun. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> Guys, this is worth 20 bucks. Oh, this is freaking awesome. That's what it looks like. So I walked from that road and... Wow. This is amazing. So just to re-clarify again on how to get to the Pilatus or Pilatus, however you say it, like you can hike up there it's totally possible to hike up it'll be five and a half hours to get all the way to the tip top but if you wanna like ride on the cable car it's twenty dollars to go to how do you say it, it starts with an f frank Mutik. if you want to go to frank Mutik, it's twenty dollars if you want to go back it's another twenty dollars i wanted to ride though in here because i felt like the views would be worth it oh my gosh it's so so awesome and then i might walk back to um Kren Kren i am sorry i cannot remember how to pronounce these words i am just so happy <gasps> man you can see lucerne from here oh There's sheep and farmhouses and cows everywhere. You can hear their bells ringing. And I should also note that it is worth every $20 because you are getting to ride on the cable car for 30 minutes. It's a 30 minute ride up. It's gonna be a 30 minute ride back. It's worth every penny. And I'm assuming, well, nope, I'm not. This is about maybe 10 minutes into the ride, folks. And this is the view I have. I can't believe I'm here. This is so awesome. You can see this is the um, toboggan course. Ride on this little toboggan sled all the way down. It's it's the longest one in Switzerland. Okay, so fast forward another 
30 minutes to an hour and I just got done doing the toboggan um, ride and guys let me tell you this was the most fun I had I really I really just can't go on how fun it was so there is a place where you can lock up your bags for free you don't have to pay anything however like you're not really allowed to film or take pictures you can try to do it in a sneaky way but if you're caught you'll be fined 100 Swiss francs so even though I really wanted to try to get away with filming I decided not to because I was afraid that I would be fined <laughs> so I didn't but I got my picture made so the pitcher um, costs five dollars if you want it, which is kind of expensive. But I felt like while well, I'm in Switzerland, it's a it's a good photo. If it wasn't decent, I wouldn't have gotten it. But it is a good photo. The toboggan ride, it's eight francs, but it's totally worth it. They have like a cute little, not a restaurant, but it's like a little kiosk where you can buy snacks and whatnot. I really like it here, and <sighs> kind of disappointed I can't go all the way to the top because I just don't have enough time. My train leaves exactly in three hours, but. I'm going to hike my way down to not this cable car but the next one down if I can and then I'm going to try to enjoy a little bit more of Lutzern but if not I'll just come back like you know so I'll do my best. By the way there's been like so many Americans here. Well this is good news. I need to go to Kreenzerich and it's only one hour so it's 3.30. I should make it by 4.30. though I still just really keep wishing that somebody was here with me to enjoy all this hiking. So it's finally 5.30 and I made it back to Lucerne. The train leaves in about an hour. I have just enough time to just kind of take one more stroll around through the city. As you can see, I'm right here by the water tower, Fossa Tuum. And I'm gonna walk across this chapel bridge. It's a really old bridge and I have read how old it is, but I can't seem to remember. I have a really bad habit of reading about things and then forgetting what I read about, so. I know it's a few hundred years old though, at least. So I was reading about this bridge and apparently all these pictures, they're depicting the dance of death, whatever that means. definitely hard to do in one day especially if you do the mountain pilates unless you get here super early or unless you're staying here all the time but I have to get back at a decent time so okay I just got out of the Cope's grocery store and bought a chocolate croissant as well as two Berliners which I'm really excited to eat I haven't eaten any of them yet and a nice fresh loaf of bread you'll probably catch this well that was like super good Okay, so I'm back on the train in Lutzern. My feet are killing me. It's about 6.25, so I'm here a little bit early. Finally headed back home. Oh, time to kick back and relax. Just ride on this train home. This is like a little outpow. Best so good. Lord Blum is the twin. Ao anderi foreind draha. To a nude, no leg, new, nude bag, hip to the last plats, weg und steg. That is straight Swiss German. Oh, and there it is in um, high, high, high German. <laughs> <laughs> 